Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Dunn Channel. We're here on Valley of Fire Highway. We have exited the Valley of Fire and are heading westbound towards its junction with Interstate 15 here northeast of Vegas. Last sign I saw said 41 miles away from Vegas, so we're probably about 35 miles away from Vegas now at this point. Trying to keep the sun out of the shot here, so uh, I've got it kind of pointed off to the right here as we're heading due west. Temperature outside reads now 109 degrees Fahrenheit at 5.10 p.m. This is a great place to come take a nice day drive, day trip from Vegas, especially if you're visiting and you're tired of the slot machines, maybe losing money at the slot machines, just get jump in your rental car and jump out here 50 miles away. It's a good little day trip. Along with Hoover Dam and Mount Charleston, which we have videos of in our library, feel free to check those out as well. Three awesome day trip and ideas for you. There's also some ghost, ghost towns outside of Vegas that I'm going to do some videos of that uh, make pretty interesting day trips as well. I had a request to do Laughlin. That's 100 miles south of us, south of Vegas. So uh, I need to make a, a day out of that for sure. Because that's nothing I want to just drive down and drive back from. I want to go down there and show you that maybe the casinos, whatever I can of them down there before security gets involved wondering if this is like a solar farm or something up here in the uh, on the horizon in front of us. There's a lot of those around here. There's the huge one, the Ivan Pa, I V A N P A H solar farm located on the uh, California side of the California Nevada border at the uh, at Interstate 15 there, and that is a massive one, but that one has caused quite a few problems for aviation concerns as well as birds. They use big, huge mirrors. From what I, my, my understanding is they use these big, huge mirrors that then that are pointed at these water towers, right? And the water towers heat up from the sunlight hitting the mirrors and create electricity. The problem is that birds have been flying into the mirrors and the and that hot water tower, if you will, and the mirrors are also causing aviation issues for pilots flying overhead, insofar as blinding them. So uh, I know they've had to adjust some of their air routes. At least that's what I've read in the paper here. Not a bad gig if you can afford what 50 let's say 50 acres of land out here in the middle of the desert and then the all the solar solar panels to put out here and there's cell electricity but from what i've read solar panels have a certain lifespan right a shelf life and uh the batteries do as well of course as we know with the tesla issues that we've seen solar farm over here on the left is actually fenced off. I guess they don't want anyone in there messing around with their panels. Given the investment in them, I can understand why. We have a 
uh, State Route 40 coming up here according to the GPS on our left. Presumably napping. They have limits on the number of hours they can drive now because of all the accidents that were being caused. Truck stop, USA, for our international viewers. This is a big Chevron here. 359 a gallon. It's more expensive in town. And this is still Clark County. State 15, a major north-south interstate corridor, and the juice stand out here in the middle of the desert. How about that? Highway entrance right here on our right. That's for northbound. We're going to go southbound back towards Vegas here, like the little sign there indicates. Southbound, Interstate 15. Should get a mileage sign up here just after we get on the highway. Always have to watch for these trucks out here. Make sure they're not... Uh... Some of them don't even bother getting over anymore. You know, when the lane merges like that. They used to get over in the other lane and let you in, but not anymore. There you see the speed limit out here in the rural part of Nevada. 75 miles an hour. North Las Vegas is 30 miles from here. Las Vegas proper, 32 miles away. And then Barstow in California, 186 miles away. This guy is flying. I'm doing the speed limit. like there might have been some rain out there to the west of us a little bit because of the uh, high top clouds leaving Wapa River Indian Reservation. So there's the solar farm we just saw out there and Valley of Fires back beyond that in those mountains in the distance there. Lots and lots of solar panels out there. This is a major north-south artery here, interstate artery here in the uh, western United States, traveling from northeast of San Diego and east of LA, all the way up to Montana and the Canadian border. Major artery for goods, especially from the ports of LA and San Diego. And 
that minivan. I can barely see it now. It's crazy. He's flying. The sun is being covered up by these clouds here off to our west. That's good. Here at mile marker 73. Temperature reads 110 now, 110 Fahrenheit. That's about 43 degrees Celsius if memory serves. Then we have a truck lane up here ahead, probably because we're going up in elevation and the trucks end up not being able to go up the, up the hills as fast as they can hit the straightaways. And there's your slower traffic keep right sign, which is really aimed at the trucks, but it replies to everyone, <laughs> especially in the city. Slower traffic, keep right, please. GPS says I-15 southbound near Overton. That's all it says. is still present. When we did our Las Vegas Strip View live look at it at noon, the air quality was at 71 in the moderate range. Good is anything below 50. Moderate is 51 to 100. So it said we were sitting in the moderate range. However, it looks worse than that. We've had a really hazy several days here. If you've seen our Las Vegas Strip View live look at, at noon and at sunset, you'll know had some several hazy days here. We're about to, we have a junction up here with US 93. This roadway was once known as Route 91, U.S. Route 91. So Vegas at one time featured routes U.S. 91, U.S. 93, and U.S. 95. U.S. 93 goes all the way up to, uh, actually I think it goes through Missoula, Montana up there and then uh, up to the Canadian border. They've got this little rope-like chain RV sitting out there. Rope-like chain here separating the uh, northbound from the southbound traffic in the median here. Looks like it's a cable of some sort there. you everything Vegas here on the Vegas Down Channel, even when we're just a few miles outside of Vegas. I want to take a moment and say thank you all so very, very much for joining. We really, really appreciate each and every single one of you. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and TikTok if you haven't already. It helps recommend, recommend, recommend us to other viewers as well as the algorithm. And the algorithm is the all-powerful being knowing that you have liked, followed, and subscribed. So please like, follow, and subscribe. It carries more weight with the algorithm. And uh, also check out the, the shop section of YouTube with the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas Strip skyline. That's uh, available on the shop section with uh, Christmas coming up. Maybe something for yourself or your significant other. And as always, remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks.